So to test this thing, what you want to do is just throw a lot of TNT in there and then activate it and what should happen is that. My name is Boomwopper and welcome back to another Minecraft Bedrock Edition tutorial. Today I will be showing you how to build this tunnel bore. As you can see what happens is multiple TNT gets dispensed onto the end of this ancient debris here and that will cause the TNT to um, explode kind of upwards. So what you can use this for is uh, say you want to build a tunnel bore as low down as you can. So you build this at y equals like 5 or 6, then it will explode all the way up to y16, meaning that you cover the entire diamond range. I'm not sure about the new cave generation in 1.17, but this is pretty good for now. A negative to this tunnel bore is that it uses 3 TNT per blast, but don't worry, I've got you covered because in the iCard there is a link to the playlist that has my gunpowder farm designs on it. Pick the one that you want and then come back and build this tunnel board. Before I begin the tutorial, I just want to say thank you very much to First Stand Josh for helping me out with designing this thing. He gave me the original concept, but then I was able to compact it and upgrade it a little bit so that it works perfectly. Anyway, without further ado, let's get on with the tutorial. So, first things first, you want to make sure that you come about three blocks away from the wall that you want to bore into. Then what you want to do is place one, two, three, four ancient debris, and then one, two, three, four regular blocks. Then what you want to do is come out one, two, three, and four, then break these three observers, then place an observer there facing in that direction, and then a pit regular piston facing in the direction that you want this thing to go. Then what you want to do is place two honey blocks like that, then a terracotta block there, and then a regular piston facing in this direction like so. And then what you want to do is come up two regular blocks like that, then a glass block, and then two honey blocks behind like that. Then what you want to do is grab a trap chest and face it in whatever direction that you want because there is a glass block on top so you will be able to open it. Then what you want to do is place a regular block there and a sticky piston facing in that direction. Now what you want to do is come out a pillar block and then a sticky block, this can be honey or slime, and then you can place another honey block there or a slime block and then an observer facing up into the bottom of it like so. Then what you want to do is place a sticky piston there and then two honey blocks up like that and then two regular blocks there and then an observer and a regular piston like so. Then what you want to do is place an observer facing up on top of that piston with a dispenser facing up there and then a slime block there. Then what you want to do is place a regular block there and a regular block there and that is your tunnel bore done. So to test this thing what you want to do is just throw a lot of TNT in there and then activate it and what should happen is that. Perfect. And as you can see, so I've actually made the wall a little bit too low here, but uh, as you can see it will cover that entire range very, very nicely. So you can build this at y equals 5 and as you can see it will explode all the way up to y equals 16 or wh wherever you build it you can use this for mining netherite, it doesn't matter. As long as you clear all the water and lava in front of it, this thing will work absolutely fine. A full credit for this design does go to him so definitely go and check out his channel, a link to it will be in the description. Anyway, that's going to do it for today. Thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy and use this tunnel board, then please do hit the like button down below. And if you really loved it and haven't already, then do consider subscribing. It really does help me out a lot more than you might think. As of recording this video now, I think I am 17 subscribers away from 1,000. 1,000 people is a lot of people. Uh, I'll, I'll save... You know, I'll save this for the 1000 subscribers special, I still don't know what I'm going to do for that, I have not been prepared at all, but yes, thank you very much for all of the support, it is very much appreciated. Anyway, that's going to do it for today, so thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao for now, bye!